Sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be a rich. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't, I'm ready when you are. Man, as usual, you got the usual crew. Got the one, I got my man Zeke. Got the one and only Ricky Schwein. And I'm Channel 7. Yeah, new champion. New Bucks. New, I think new. I predicted that, right? That the Bucks were win? Did you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the series overall? Or, I mean, it's, it is it is a, a a lot of things to uh, tackle. Oh, that's a million angles, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a million angles. So, what do you think of the series overall? I was highly entertained. Even though it was four straight losses. <laughs> <laughs> I was entertained by each game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? a good series. Yeah. No. You see? Uh, I, I kind of had low expectations going into it. I did. But I did. it turned out to be pretty entertaining. Yeah. I liked it. It's the best of the best. Best of the two teams, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it actually turned out to be... Is it the best of the best? Am I, am I, <laughs> am I Zeke, boy? Is it? I mean, you got you had a, a plethora of injuries throughout the yeah, year. and a lot of teams fall off. Yeah, so, like, these are the best two teams that were healthy. But, yeah, I mean, our luck is, was, was part of, was, was oh, yeah, part of our work. You got to have some luck. Oh, no, there's definitely some luck. Um, I was entertained. I mean, but I'm always entertained in basketball, but... This series, I definitely was, uh, it was entertaining. Um, I learned a lot about Drew Holiday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, number one, obviously, besides the stars, I learned a lot about Giannis probably being the best player in the NBA now. Oh, yeah. You got to I'm not willing to go there. I think I, got, I think I got Giannis at number one. I get on the throne, and if you can if you can roll back the tape, uh, I think I had Giannis, you know, up there in the top three <laughs> last summer, e- even in the bubble. So now that he's won a title, I think I got him at number one. Whoever, I mean, it's kind of like rotating. Who are you passing the throne along? Whoever wins it, you know, is the best player on the winning team. You know, from Kawhi to LeBron, well, LeBron to Kawhi to Le- back to LeBron to now Giannis. But people were saying, best, wait, people were saying Kawhi, when Kawhi won with Toronto, they were saying he was number one? I mean, it was debated. Like, LeBron's stronghold on best player definitely took a shot. You know what I'm saying? And um, Kawhi did yeah. it with his second team. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. I uh, was there for a year. Yeah. But you felt Giannis knocking. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When, when, when Kawhi, even though Kawhi kind of exposed him in, in his run and went to Toronto <laughs> like that that series, that you know what I'm saying, he took it on the chin, you know what I'm saying, came back better. Mm-hmm. Then Miami kind of smacked him around a little bit. Yeah, that was that Came was back Yeah, better. yeah, that Miami, yeah. That's, you know uh, that's kind of like the, well, you could kind of compare it to when the, when the Spurs beat got beat by Miami, then they came back. And won it the next year. You can kind of compare, even though that was in the finals, though. Well, when the Spurs got beat by when, uh, when Ray, Ray, Ray Allen shot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. And uh, what, what, what else happened? Duncan missed the layup. Well, that was the same game, right? Yeah, Duncan. No, he uh, slapped the floor. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it was that, that, that game. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think that was that. Um. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Giannis went through it. Like, yeah, yeah. We, you know, so that wall, so that might be some bumps and bruises. Yeah, yeah. took his lumps and made him stronger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice cliche. Uh, yeah, how much, <laughs> how much more cliche can you get? I mean, <laughs> and, and it follows the you got stars usually win like around their seventh, eighth year. He in his eighth year, it follows that too. Is it me or does it feel like Giannis has been around forever? Yeah, like he's only twenty six, but like it feels like the remember the. Um, like, and I remember he, he, the, the, the flavor on Kirk Heinrich when he was just mad. <laughs> yeah, just I remember that. Giannis, he just, yeah, he just hit him. That? He knocked him out of bounds. Was that play? That wasn't playoff. Was that, that was, was playoff. That, that was playoff. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was zero. That was Dino, early. Dino, Dino. Yeah. yeah he, he just he just got so frustrated because they were getting they, the series over. They were mm-hmm. losing. 
And he just got it. It's like he blatantly said, "There's <laughs> 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 nothing else I can do but yeah, just brute force on you, <laughs> like take my anger out, man." More impressive in that game was Giannis going 19 for 21 <laughs> from free throws. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what he I did. Never bet. That. I would have never. Bet, I would have never thought that he go 19 for 21 from three. To me, from free throws. Sorry. To me, to me, that's the, the epitome of a clutch performance. Because, you know, you can get lucky and get a tip in. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bums, I mean, I ain't going to say bums, but role players, you got your John Paxson, your Curs, the Robert Orr, they've hit game-winning shots. Mm. Right. Not to diminish that in any way, but to take on the biggest platform, the biggest game of your career, to take the weakest aspect of your game, and you, I mean, you don't just do good, do better at it. You damn near go flawless. Right. <laughs> you know, he would have went 50% everywhere. Right, right. Yeah. If he would have yeah. went, you said 19 or 21? I think it was 19. If he would have went 15 or 21, that would have been like, yo, he stepped up. Yeah. That nigga damn near went flawless from the line. Yeah. But yeah. that's honest, like, <laughs> like, that's crazy in the big, that's the cool. basketball scheme of things that free throws do matter. Like, Hell yeah. Dude, yeah. like, you got to hit those. Like, imagine if he goes... Yeah. Sixty-five percent. They lose. They y- yeah. They lose actually. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. He he came out clutch. His clutch gene is pretty high for that game alone. And I'm pretty sure he'll get a statue and <laughs> and all that. Like Giannis is cemented. He's good. Twenty-nine, twelve, and five for the series for the. with this because when they was down 0-2, Bud was out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, 0-2 in the finals, you think? You think Bud was out? Oh, yeah. Up to that yeah. point. Remember, they was bodying Bud. In the man. finals? You think they would have fired him? For oh, no, 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 not in the... I'm oh, saying he no. was on the hot seat. Like, yeah, yo, he, even in the finals, he was still on the hot seat. Yeah, if they would have lost wow. the finals, yeah. That's, it, that's, that's, it, that's what I was going to ask y'all. Do you think that saved him? Because he, yeah, well, he yeah. was on the hot seat. I didn't think he was he on the good, hot seat. Yeah. Once he made the finals, I thought he was good. Nah, to me, I, I mean, so. my opinion. If my they would have lost, I think they would have got rid of him. My issue with that wow. is, like, cats act like there's, you know what I'm saying, there's no, you know what I'm saying, middle ground between fucking Greg Popovich and, and <laughs> Doofus. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's a middle ground. Like, yeah, he had some bad games, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know that's, that's how the NBA worked, though. <laughs> Damn. You know, he had some bad games. He also made some adjustments. Wow. Like, so, Bud would have been fired. I think so. Because that's how it worked. That's what he was calling. Like, Monty Williams, he's he not, he not going to get fired. No, no, no. Monty's not going to get fired. Yeah, At least sure. not right now. No, no. I think he's he's there for a minute. Though. Yeah. Um, what I did learn that Booker is a is a star. He's not a superstar. That's why nah. I took away from the finals. That got to be more consistent. Consistent. Booker is not a superstar yet. He's a that, star. That's baby. the sign of a superstar. You got to be consistent. Baby. Yeah, Drew and and Drew Holiday is really a premier top three wing defender. Yeah. yeah. Um. He had some bad offensive games, but that defense was always there. Yeah. Another thing I learned is, uh, unfortunately, this might be it for Chris Paul. This might be his best chance, unless he goes to the Lakers. But this probably is his best chance to ever. How, how, ang- how angry do you think he is that that Lakers trade didn't go through? Nah, yeah, he should be <laughs> over that. He 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 over I mean, that was nah. NBA litigation type shit. That, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that wasn't what he did or, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But he mad about this. He could he could have won this. They could have yeah, won. Yeah, yeah, they could have won. They could have won. But he he didn't, he failed, what, in game four and game five? He played, he stunk up the joint. Mm-hmm. So I feel bad for him because I really, you know what I'm saying, with teams coming back healthy, I don't know if I see them coming back to the finals next year. Like, uh, uh, I definitely see the Bucks as before it is. Phoenix. Uh, this team as it is now. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying? No. Even though they got a rising star. A rising Suey's already a star. A rising superstar. Right. And Booker, a rising star role player. Well, if he steps up in, in Aiton and Bridges, you know what I'm saying? You got to. They, they won't be a number two seed next year. To me, CP3 is, a, is prime trade big. Can't be traded about to be a free agent. Oh, you this is a free agent here? He opted out. 
he guarantees he's going to opt out. You think he's coming back? You want you want to come back? No. I you heard it first. I think he's going. I've been saying they've been talking about that too. Yeah. Um. They have. Yeah. I'm you heard that? Yeah. That's that's what I heard. I've heard New York. I ain't New York. I've heard New York. I ain't New York. I've heard New York. I've heard New York. I've heard New York. I've heard if you it's your team, not the Lakers, bro. I mean, I can see. The, I mean, I can see New York, but they're Lakers. Six of what he did to Phoenix, yeah, dude. Father Time is is undefeated. It's True. coming. He he was hurt this year and got into the finals. He about to come down. If he goes to a team like the Lakers, like you're saying, I can see. Him yeah, the Lakers. Lakers. You don't need. He don't need to be the man. The man, you right. know, or even the second man. He can be. Yeah. He can fall. Take money out of it. Would you want Chris Paul on the Bulls? Take money out of it? Yeah. yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> what do you mean? That you, you just said who will want 37-year-old point guard. Yeah, so but that, that, that comes with money, though. I'm yeah. saying take money out. We just if, I can, if, I can sign, if I can sign Chris Paul for a, a vet man, or well, not me, but if the Bulls can sign him for a vet man or peanuts, then yeah, I want Chris Paul. See? But I don't, I don't want hundred million million Chris Paul three years. <laughs> right, right, right. I don't want that. But he's he still 37. No, I don't. I don't want to pay him forty million a year. Nah, no. Not for a guy I know that's not going to play seventy games, and I know that's going to break down in the playoffs, guaranteed. Yeah. At this point, it's guaranteed. We we looking at four or five years straight, four or five years straight. He's broken down. He can't play play any games once. Nah, that stat is overrated. If Drew, if Drew Holiday. And and, and and Chris Paul's flip flop teams. I think Phoenix wins. No, <laughs> I think they do because Milwaukee's big as fuck. They were too big. They still got yeah. They do still got to fight with the size. Yeah, that size. Dude, part, that's of the size. One big guy. part of the size. Part of the size. Having problems was Drew. No, dude. You had Lopez. You had Portis. You had Giannis. I mean, obviously, yeah. They had one big. Only I'm, one. Saying, I'm saying the way the way. Uh, 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 um, and I'm saying the way the series went, the way Phoenix, the way the series went, they were one solid play player away from being. That's the the the, the player they expected CP3 to be consistently. You know what I'm saying? Away from they were expect, the game he had last night. If he played consistently like that through the finals, this is a game six, seven or possibly a Phoenix win. No, to me, to me, this is what it is. Who had the better coach? Phoenix, right? Phoenix. Yeah, right. Who had the better starting point guard? Phoenix, right? Yeah. On paper, yeah. Huh? On <laughs> paper, <laughs> we and Drew play? Holiday played better than Chris Paul in the big moments. In the big, that's what I'm saying. He, he stuck up last night. He was four for twenty. Yeah, he, but I mean, but his way, he, his size is what 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 won Game Five and his mm-hmm. defensive prowess. And give you that. Overall, we all agree Chris Paul is a better point guard. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. With that being said, who was the best overall player in the series? Giannis. Thank you. Yeah. That's what. That's why they won. The Giannis and their size alone would, and they won despite Budenholzer, Bud, Coach Bud, being inapt compared to Monty. <laughs> Monty is a better coach than Coach Bud, but they still won because Giannis. Is the best overall player in that series. Bark, Barkley said it. Said the Bucks played stupid, but they, they played win. dumb. <laughs> right, right. They didn't play great. Like the first two games, they were doing dumb shit. Yeah, Dude, yeah. game six, they were doing dumb shit. They were sh- he sh- was very sh- reactive as far as the Bucks being proactive. Yeah, yeah, like they still want despite Bun, you know, Coach Bud doing some of the dumb shit that he did. Like. That's why I think he would have been out of there if they lost. Yeah, yeah. I can see what you're saying. They were already calling him stupid and yeah. you know, saying this blatantly disrespectful to yeah. the media. Very you know upset over the course of the playoff. But he's gonna be. He's gonna sign an extension. I'm not. I don't know if this is gonna happen, but I can see them sign an extension. Well, yeah, they, they got him another five years. Bro. Yeah, like, but they'll fire him in three. So. <laughs> but yeah, Gian- Giannis. Now, what what does Giannis go as far as? Power forwards, like is he going to be? He's he's going up there to being the best power forward ever. Is he second under Tim Duncan? Take away Tim Duncan's resume, huh? And who's better, who? Take Giannis or Tim, Tim Duncan. Duncan? So I gotta take I, away his resume. Who's more dominant? 
if you put his resume up, you know what I'm saying, you're going to obviously, and you say Giannis, and then now you're going to, obviously someone's going to say, oh, you're in the moment. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. that's because Tim Duncan has a resume. I'm saying take his resume away and go. Duncan. Tim Duncan's skill set, how he plays. Tim Duncan. Giannis, how Tim he Duncan. plays. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan kill you in the post, face up. Yeah. Got a jumper. He not he not OC with it. <laughs> he, he consistent. Uh... Yeah, uh, Giannis is a freaking nation. We not in play. It's the nickname. Right. But, <laughs> yeah, Giannis, you can, like, everything is just settled flow with Tim Duncan. Like, you know he going to go. He not going to botch free throw, but he would. Because he wasn't a good free throw shooter. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But he's consistent. Giannis yeah. is still a little erratic sometimes. A little in the clutch, in the clutch, I'll say. Um. Yeah, they don't want to really go to him. In the yeah, game. you don't want to go, they go in the middle. Even though he don't mind taking a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah they'll take the shot. Yeah, he took the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have the awareness of, because uh, he easily could have grabbed the rebound, but he, it's, you know what I'm saying, he blew like what? Like three straight of yeah, that he was missing free throws. Yeah, this is not my initial question. This wasn't my initial question, mm-hmm. but now you made me think of something. With Giannis, well, no, with that Drew Holiday to Giannis oop in Game Five, was you kind of like that was ballsy? That was a ball yeah, that, yes, definitely. Like he could have pulled it out, yeah, mm-hmm. balls. You know what I'm Less saying? Some time, right. And blew some time. He threw it up. There was up. There was up one, one, and he yeah. threw a oop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> with with twenty something seconds, like what if Giannis wouldn't have caught that? It was trust on Drew too, because he saw, he, you know, what I'm saying he had to actually pull the trigger, even though Giannis was calling for yeah, it. Yeah, he pointed up. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the yeah. ballsiest. I don't even like. I know Chris Paul was there, but still, that was like he could have threw the ball away. Like Giannis mm-hmm. may not have mm-hmm. caught it. That was a that was a small window for him to make that because he is almost behind the rim. Yeah. But he was behind the rim because of the push. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's still, ball. like, that's still a rip. In basketball, like, you know, one-on-one, you would have just pulled it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't a... a yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that was, that's what made that play so amazing. Yeah, if they miss, you're like, yo, what are you doing, man? Right. But, oh, oh, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, what are you like, doing? I was like, ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man, I thought I didn't think he was gonna catch it when he threw it. I'm like, yeah, what is this? No, he caught it. Like you said, he caught it damn near behind the rim. Yeah. That was crazy, man. That so, was an unbelievable game. So Giannis got two memorable, memorable uh, plays in the finals that will be etched in wow. final history. Mm-hmm. All in the same game, the block and the hoop. Right. That was in the same game. No, sorry. The the block was in game four. The blo- oh yeah, the uh, eight the, block, the guy yeah, yeah. DJ eight block yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean uh, yeah 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 that was uh, game four yeah that w- which one was more amazing? <laughs> hey, that's tough. Ooh, the time of the, 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 the block was that block, the block was crazy though. So because he really stopped Booker on the help defense, yeah, then he and then he really up. stopped Aiden on the hoop. Because it was going to be a dunk. It was the perfect pass. Caught. It was a dunk. He did. He stopped two people on one play. I, th- I think I think I go with the block. Go with the block. That's probably more difficult. Oh, uh, yeah. And he, he, you know what I'm saying, it was on one foot. Like, he didn't gather and yeah. jump. Like, he had to just react. And he got there. Like, yo. Like, that's some, the athleticism it takes. And what, what was the score when he did that block? If y'all could recant it, I, I you know, I I you know it, was one quarter, it was a minute left. Mm-hmm. I don't know the score. I know they they may have been up one or I know they were up, but I don't know how many points. Were they going to tie it or were they, I know they yeah, were. That's up. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah. What, that's going to enter my reasoning or what I pick. Yeah, no, you were. They were. They were, they were that would have been a tie. They were up two. <sighs> This the oop they were already, already up one. one yeah they were already up one but if you if you if you have a turnover if you miss it you miss it now you gotta go back on D <sighs> what first of all let let let's delve into this play even more yeah it was ninety nine one on one the walk up two it was a minute two. fifteen left oh yeah I'm going with that oop. with the oop yeah not only you needed you first of all. Yeah. 
you needed Drew Holiday because Booker was scoring. Drew Holiday made the play happen. Then he threw a oop that was risky. And then he caught it. And then they up three. Right. There's no way he should have blocked this. <laughs> <laughs> Off one foot, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Booker like, just tossed it like, I know, I know Aiden got this. Damn. He, blocked he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, now, athletically, yeah, that block was way more impressive. Right. Then the oh, I give you that. But in the game realm, the clutchness of the Man. situation, they're right there though. Like you know, what I'm saying? no, 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 no. You can't. There is no <laughs> wrong answer. Yeah. I, I can't argue if you go with the oop. I can't argue if you go with the block. Um, which speaks to his great. He made a clutch defensive play so, and a clutch offensive play. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, damn. Where you going? Where you going? Drew did too when he ripped up. Booker. Ripped up. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a game changer too. So he was at Booker's job too. Yeah, like, he Booker sure. pulls up and shoots a jumper. That don't even happen. But he draw. He got too deep in the paint. He didn't really know what he was gonna do. Mm-hmm. He, he got stuck. I think I think the casual NBA fan, and I'm gonna answer y'all a question. I know y'all answer, uh, but the casual NBA fan really realizes how good Drew Holiday is. Yeah. I don't think the casual NBA fan right. knew what Drew Holiday brings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they're Drew saying they gave up too much. A lot of people. Yeah, no. Nah, Drew Holiday is motherfucking beast. Remember, they were supposed to have uh, oh, uh, Bob Donovich. They didn't get him. They didn't do that, right. They right. gave up all the trades for Drew. Like, yeah. yeah. For all this for Drew Holiday? He, he made they a difference, man. I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to say OOP only because the OOP is more impressive, only because the time and the score. Because if, if if he don't get that block, if that, let's say they score, it's still tied. You still get mm-hmm. the ball with a minute left. Dude, yeah. That oop, you miss it or it goes, air, it's an errant pass or whatever. You got 15 seconds left and they get the ball. And it's they rock. Yeah. And, yeah. and Booker was going crazy. And Booker was going crazy. He had 40. Yeah. So, and Booker was going to score before the steal drew out of the end. Because mm-hmm. P.J. was falling. I definitely over. thought that was, he was going to score. Yeah, because P.J. was falling all over himself. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> I, dev- I I say the oop is more impressive due to the fact of the, the, the game the game situation. But athletically, yes, that's way more impressive what Giannis did with stop help side D and then blocking blocking the shot. But when you're seven feet and you got a seven nine wingspan, you can do that. So Turkish athlete. But um clutch. Does Giannis jump over dirt? Uh, yes. I think so, too. Yes. Because now he got the numbers and the title to match. Dirk only way had before one. Dirk, too. Yeah, yeah way before. Yeah, was way before. When did Dirk win? He was like 30. Oh, okay. Right. Everybody was cringing to, was cringing to watch him run at that point. So yeah. That point yeah. Was <laughs> you got to think, you got a good 10 years of Giannis now. All right. Hey. Bear in mind, though, we literally were thinking he may be done for the playoffs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Because it's just your bones are doing something. Yeah. Your joints are doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. Oh, was hurt. Y'all ever hyper extended on me? Yeah. Not seriously. Not, not, like, that. not, not like that. that. Not like yeah. that. It's, it's a weird feeling, man. He's mm-hmm. definitely in some pain, I'm sure. That's going to be an awkward uh, plane ride for uh, when the Olympics send the PJ in for Drew Holiday and Booker. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> how about those finals? <laughs> if you're Booker, do you, do you talk to him? you like, oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it's like that. Who could flame and uh, cast the flame the fire? Like, yo, you see them finals, B? <laughs> like, just fucking with them. I, 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 I think it ain't going to be just I, them three, yeah. is it? No. Who else? Booker, Booker Mid, Middleton, what? Paul? Uh, Holiday. Holiday. No, Holiday. My bad. Holiday. Bro. That's what's up. Um, no, nah, it's a mutual respect. And Booker is, is respected. They respect each other. So yeah. I, I think it's cool. But. If you win, win or lose, why would you want to go to Tokyo? I just won. Why do I want to get on PJ and they they commit? Because they already committed. Oh, yeah, that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, we still don't know if they're going to do the Olympics, by the way. 
True. Well, that's, that that's, kind a, of that's the unstoppable machine, man. They about that. That's, I think they made it pretty obvious that it's no. about the money for them. No, they just they recently, like, last 12 hours, they said uh, they might cancel. No, for real? Yeah. Mm. They said I think they, they got till Friday. Yeah. Why don't they? The shit is going spiking and going crazy. Like, they should. Like, you just said it, money. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the, 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 they put cardboard beds? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're trying to keep the athletes from having sex. That's not going to happen. <laughs> There's a prime athletes in the prime, you know what I'm saying? Full of testosterone, but they think a fucking cardboard bed is going to keep <laughs> niggas it, it a fucking be, float. There's no bed in there. <laughs> Just, but, uh, it's yeah. the big fuck fest <laughs> <laughs> on the floor. Jesus, you know, so they, 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 uh, they, they getting it. In. But Marnie was talking about that. He's like, man, this dude's there to seeing seeing gymnasts for the first time. Like, yo, I ain't gonna be here for another four years. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, get it in, man. He's seeing the gymnast. gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that flexibility, man. This, this one, I might not come back after four years. Like, I gotta get it in now. Right. Doesn't mm-hmm. that fuck with Nintendo? Don't they say you, you're not supposed to have sex? Gymnastics. Oh, boxing. Okay. Gymnastics, I don't think it matters. <laughs> and I don't think that's kind of archaic, like back in the 80s. Like, I still like, think they do that, though. Well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, not the league. We know the niggas get yeah, high and drunk right before a game. <laughs> yeah. Hell said. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the Olympics? So what do you mean, the NBA, the games, the, the basketball, well, or just in general? You want to see the, the four by ones, you want to see volleyball. There's usually one athlete that pulls me, pulls my interest, but, you know. I, do, I hate turning Channel 5 or whatever, and it's fucking, it's still that. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Get shit over with. Yeah, I usually watch what's ever on. Yeah, I check it out at an event. It goes to commercial, I turn it on. Uneven bars, I watch whatever. Cricket. Not, not me. Yeah, I'm watching yeah, it. Yeah, if it's on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care. To me, it's like just it's steeped in this tradition from, you know what I'm saying, the Greek, you know what I'm saying, the, the Greek Athens days, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, and they just, it's like, it feels like they just got to keep it going just because type thing. Like, it's not like a real, oh, so you, you think the Olympics are overrated? Yeah. I mean, the athletes are, you know what I'm saying? Not overrated, but the whole production. The whole thing, yeah. Oh, they're actually gonna have the ceremony, the the flame, the torch ceremony with no fans there. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why? Kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, huh? Shout out to uh, Candace Parker being on 2K cover too, first female. That's the best so name to do. Chicago zone. Chicago. Man. She ain't really from Chicago. Yeah, she's not from Chicago. Neighborhood. Where's she from? Neighborhood. Yeah, Neighborhood. So. Yeah. Well, same thing. <laughs> Illinois. How is that the same thing? People from Chicago always say you're not from Chicago. I think if she go is back in the day if she went out of state. Frank just say, hey, Frank Kaminsky's not from Chicago, but people gonna say If he go out of state and say, Yo, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. I think it's just one of them things. Uh, like Travis Parker's like, not going to Utah like y'all from Naperville. She don't say it's Chicago. more relatable. Yeah. You say Naperville, you got to explain. Right, well, it's yeah. a surrounding suburb. Big <laughs> you know, Joe, can I get your thoughts on that? Right. <laughs> the whole you're not from Chicago, but you claim Oak Park. No, <laughs> no, we only respect Harvey. Yeah, uh, Harvey, Harvey. <laughs> Maywood. Right, right. Maywood. Right. Yep. The Chicago Heights get an honorable mention. But they, if you, <laughs> if, if they shoot, if they shoot, the, they you get a little, get them a little oh, ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hell, dog. But but <laughs> Elmhurst, <laughs> not. If I say I'm from Elmhurst, they ain't yeah, don't do that. Oh, yeah. Nah. So it's the same as name. But that's why they say Chicago. That's why that athlete is gonna say Chicago. Like, it's, like it's too much to say Elmhurst. Like, how from uh, Chicago? Like, you get it to so somebody who doesn't know about. The towns surrounding Chicago. Wait, you mean all right? So you mean within the uh, Chicago? Within I, I think in general, like whether you from, like you, even if you're from out of town, like yo, like you can't claim Chicago if you're not I from so. you out think? of town. Yeah, man, I don't know. That's don't like, come to me and say yo, I'm from Chicago. Then we go to your house and you in Elmhurst. So Eddie Curry can't claim Chicago. Yeah, South Island, South Island, <laughs> it's South Island. But he's synonymous with Chicago, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, 
I respect the real people that's from Chicago. Who Lance from? Uh, he went to Lance CBS, from, yeah. Lance uh, Williams. Williams. That's so random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's random. I'm just thinking of the Chicago guys. Like D Wade. D Wade is from Chicago. Robbins. He's Robbins. But, <laughs> but he's, he's, he's synonymous with Chicago. with Chicago, right? Robbins is not Chicago. I'm just saying, but he's an. Well, he's from Chicago, though. He lived. He actually lived. Okay, in the first couple of years, but he, he he's really a Robin's product. Michael Jordan is from Brooklyn. No, he's not. <laughs> dude. Michael Jordan. That's not. where he was born. He was from. born in a hospital. No, <laughs> <laughs> he was born there. He's That's not where from. He's from. No, he's not. Dude. He was born, and then he was in Carolina. Although he did say it in the Brooklyn video, no, you are in Brooklyn. No, he's not. <laughs> because Spike is his man. Right, 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 he right. came to the, he came <laughs> to the, You think Spike had to made him say that? No, he's like, no, it would be good if you, you're my man and you say you're from Brooklyn. Well, that's actually where I'm from, so yeah. No, you're <laughs> born there. You are born, you, he's right, born right, from right. Brooklyn. Nah, you, uh, well, <laughs> the only Isaiah was, he wanted to fucking troll I'm me. born in this foot case, that's where I'm from. Dude, if you're, <laughs> what? What the fuck? If I was born, no. I'm like, yo, this is where I'm from, right here. Dude, so, so abandoned babies that were left in the fire station. <laughs> I'm from fire station. <laughs> what? What? No, what so town, you're not, no, no, what town what town was the fire station? Fire station? Hey, uh, <laughs> you're a fool. Man. No, you're not. <laughs> if I'm born in his foot, um, if I'm born here, I'm from from Joe's house. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm from Joe's house in Illinois, man. <laughs> 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 He was well, uh, anyway. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Candace Parker, man. Yeah. <laughs> we, we went all around, all around the world with that one. On the real, man. Speaking of uh, Candace Parker, have you been keeping up with uh, Cappy uh, Pondex? What's up with her? Uh, she said LeBron stole thirty million from her, and she was uh, traffic. So LeBron was sex trafficking sex her trafficking. and Beyonce. Her and Beyonce. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Said this on IG yeah, Live. Yeah, she said on IG Live. Past, past few days, she was on IG Live. Yeah. Wait, what's her name? Speaking erratic. Cappy uh, Pondexter. Former uh, WNBA great. Yeah. From she Chicago. Chicago. She yeah. really from Chicago. That sucks. Yeah. Where's, what school is she going to? I don't know. She went to a Marshall or something? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah she yeah, went to yeah. 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 Uh-huh. yeah. But she claimed that uh, LeBron and his cronies stole thirty million from her. And, uh, said they kidnapped her. They kidnapped her and, and Beyonce. Uh, said Beyonce is her, her her wife or some shit. And and uh, LeBron is uh, part of the Illuminati. And yep. Sounds very uh, what you call it? What's what's this? How uh, chewing on ish to me. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the alien people ah, and your, ah. your lizard people. When people mental health probably uh, yeah. possibly. Well, well, no, no, Zeke, I told you that. You was like, no, nah, you can't come out and say that. Well, I don't think she's come out and said it yet. But that's the only way to save you. Oh yeah, <laughs> right, I got yeah, mental, mental health issues. Yeah, you got to say that. Like, right, no one's gonna touch that. You say you got mental health issues. Everybody yeah, max man. off. Or mental something. health is is that the new uh, John Amici? where it takes over where it's. Oh yeah, if she come out with a tearful apology, yeah, like, Yo, like everything's forgiven. I didn't take my meds, mental health. Yeah. They gonna be, they gonna forgive her. They forgive her that now, but they are. Yeah, for all her friends in the comments, yo, call me, <laughs> sis, call me, sis. I love you. So you said she said something so stupid, massinine that that people <laughs> just reaching it's, out. It's, it's pick it's up a, traction. A pole baby, yeah, type baby. yeah, pull baby. I didn't even know what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's Damn. Yeah. She's been online like the past two, three days just randomly. Just talking to the phone. Yeah, this is real. Has what you call it? erratic is, is weird, man. Yeah. Has what you call this 15 minutes of shine past? Uh, um, Wizards. Uh, Wizards. Number one pick. Oh, Kwame? Kwame, 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 Kwame 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it seemed like it. Yeah. yeah. Been, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. But you see that he got a podcast. Yeah, he yeah, got he something out. Oh, yeah. I want to promote this shit. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of shit. His promotion work. Yeah, it worked. But I told, I told you that Zeke. I said, "Yo, like he got something up his sleeve. Mm-hmm. He got something up his sleeve. 
But yo, prayers, prayers to Captain Pondex, whether it's real or not, you know, or it's fabricated or not, you know. Just, yeah. I hope everything's alright with you. you know? Yeah, get us some nice meds. <laughs> you know, Chicago's very own. <laughs> we gotta claim them. We got, this is what we gotta claim. Chicago's very old. No D Wade, we chain this crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that off. Oh, man. Yeah, Biz Marky, man. It's a very, very solid moment in hip hop, man. Uh, rest in peace to Biz, man. I, I, even though he's died like four times before this. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in hospice. And then yeah. People claim that he was, uh, he had perished, but now he's officially. Yeah, I feel bad about him. Man. Fifty-seven is real young, dude. That's yeah. not, it's not old. His body was always weird. Like I remember, yeah. like he always had. He was always like, uh, like he had health issues from the jump. Like you know, what I'm saying he was just like, when, when he was younger. He kind of seemed like he was a, a naturally in shape dude when he was younger. Yeah, yeah. He was a tall guy. He wasn't really. He, he wasn't was short and fat. Mm-hmm. So the weight kind of. Caught up he carried him. the weight pretty well. Yeah, do we know what, what's the reason? They said it was diabetes. Mm. Mm. Complications from diabetes. Mm. I'm sure some other things too, but yeah. Mine's rapid in the black community. Mm-hmm. As I started digging into, like, you know what I'm saying, when he died, I started digging into some of the, the, shits, the shit, the songs, the music. Mm-hmm. His, 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 I had to do that too. Yeah, his stamp, like, you know what I'm saying, he, left, he definitely, like, is a legend. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. As a DJ, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was the first, like, celebrity DJ. Like, yeah. 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 Nice was doing. Yeah, he was, he, was before, he was He was D Nice before D Nice. Yeah. And he, and he uh, discovered Master Ace. Yeah. Yep. Me and the biz, man. Kane. <laughs> Kane. Did he yeah. discover Kane? We didn't discover him. Oh, he, he put them on when he put them in the uh, Vapors video. Right, okay. You know and that was a major, you know, because Biz was on back then. Like, right, you know yeah, yeah, he was the first one on. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he was uh, probably the second one to have the uh, luxurious uh, chains. You know, in mm-hmm. my eyes, it, will, it, always go, it always goes slick Rick. Then it goes to Biz Marquis. With the chain, yeah, like, he, had, he had the big truck, big joint. Joint. the big joints, big you know truck and really, oh, You a star now? We got the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? You it's crazy. Like you got Kooji Rap, you got Master Ace, you got Marley Mar. Out of all the Juice Crew, like he was the one that like like kicked it off. Like mm-hmm. he got these super Master Ace. You got these super MCs and, and one crew where he's the one that like you know what I'm saying kind of broke the door open, main like on mm-hmm. the mainstream level. Yeah. Which was still underground back then, but you know what I'm saying, gave him notoriety back then. Like. And he he turned he turned hip hop. Oh, he was a, a pioneer. He turned hip hop into into white America or a suburb. Yeah, suburban kids. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like he, you know that whole bebopping thing. You know what I'm saying? Not to minimize that, that whole bebopping thing, but no, that was big. That was big. Like he turned B-box. like the beatbox and uh-huh. like he turned it into suburbia. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He, Where the white kids start to to gravitate toward it, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's that's how you got hip hop. And he went on tour with Roxanne Chante and did every song of hers with his mouth. Yeah, make the music <laughs> with your mouth. He, he, like make, <laughs> make the music with your mouth. He did that he shit. Did that, <laughs> oh, another thing about that, uh, the song you just singing, make the music mm-hmm. that was. T.J. Swan on that, right? Mm, for real? Yeah, he said T.J. Swan was supposed to do Just a Friend, but he didn't want to do it. Like, no, I'm working on my album. You do that. T.J. Swan was supposed to do it. Right. He was wow. supposed to do the chorus on that. But he was like, no, I'm working on my album. Like, I don't want to do it. So Biz did it. It probably wouldn't. I'm not right. I'm even going to say probably. It wouldn't have been. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the same if it, if it wasn't uh, Biz on the chorus. Huh. <laughs> that's that that was the way, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and he gonna make money. He gonna continue. Well, the state is gonna make money on uh, uh-huh. friends so mm-hmm. continuously. That's Just people that only know him from that song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, you know, he does more than that. You know, mm-hmm. know yeah, R.I.P. Cats is falling off of hip hop, man. Like flaws. Yeah, well, it's, it's it's kind of of point, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't know. I would say, I mean, yeah, falling off. I don't know if I want to use that. 
phrase. The but hip hop is getting older. Yeah, 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 yeah hip hop is getting older. Yeah, hip hop is getting older. That's what it is. Like yeah. it started officially. Do we have a date? I don't know the date. Seventy what? When did hip hop? Oh, they say it. Well, the books say. You know, so we do know it started out in the park. <laughs> was it 71, 73? Yeah, they say 73, the books. 73, the books, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, hip hop's just getting older, that's all. Yeah. You know. But we've uh, lost some. We're still losing people too early. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, don't know, I don't know who's the oldest rapper that died from like natural cause. I don't know. And, and I, I agree with Nori how. How older hip hop acts are revered, like old rock and roll acts are. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I totally yeah, it's the same. get mm-hmm. that. It's not the same. Like it's like if you're an old, you know, pioneer of, of hip hop, it's like you're you're washed up or mm-hmm. they throw you out. You know, like oh whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Who are that? Forty and rapping. Like, yeah, you yeah. find the fuck. Yeah. yeah, but it's like you supposed to. Uh, I'm starting to dislike this phrase. Give them their flowers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. You know, and that's that's whack. You know what I'm saying? So, but Bismarcky, yeah, I do believe that he was giving his flowers away. Yeah, before. he was loved. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was loved yeah. everywhere he went. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. Like I had a regular man said, he said he had a, he had a, a bar. He said he said in rock, he said he said in hip hop. What he said, he said hip and hip hop legends are considered bygones, and rock I, legends are considered icons. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, we're the only genre that don't lo- you know show love to our, to our elder statesmen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And respect their music. They I think it's out. a few. Like Jay could probably tour fifteen years from now and do his hits, right? And get it's, it's changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's the it's so audience is getting older as well. Right, right. right. Yeah, so yeah. you know exactly. I don't want to hear respect to the youngins that want to that, that fuck with you know what I'm saying Yachty and uh, I don't know fucking Hello. just little whoever right. you know what I'm saying young whoever how many of those is it so I, you know, yeah. I mean uh, you know what I'm saying and there's no disrespect to him I want to hear Jay Z you know I still you know what I'm saying even though I'm getting older 10 years from now I still want to hear Jay you know what I'm saying so yeah, so it's starting to change a little bit because the audience is getting older. But look what it, look how long it took just for it to do to to get to this point. Now it's sl- the needle is slowly moving. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like now it's okay if Nas tours at 48. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's okay if uh, you know Jay, like you said, tours at 50. So those niggas are still dope. Like, it was a time yeah. when like, Big Daddy came, and I remember he fell off. He wasn't as dope as he was. KRS-One wasn't as dope as he was at some point. Rock like, is still was, dope as he was, but they don't want to see him. We don't want to see Rock him. Not us, bro. I'm just saying. The he, masses don't want to see Rock right. Kim is not selling out the United States. Right. Right. And he should. Uh, right. Yeah, he, he should. should. Like, and it's it, it's right. at, yep. that, at the height of, at the apex of his game, like, Rock Kim was the shit. He could sell right. out a small joint. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You can sell a small you can do the metro. You can you can still but, but, but I mean, yeah. think about how disrespectful that mm-hmm. is. Like that's Rock right. Kim, arguably uh, a top five MC of all time. To rock right. Right. Mount Rushmore. Yeah. All right. So for him, for you to say, oh yeah, he could small, he could rock a small joint. I do this motherfucker from the beginning. But the Rolling Stones could just sell out. Oh, they could do it. They could do it. Three nights in a row. Yeah. Three nights in a row, they could do that shit. Rock yeah. Kiss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, they can't do Like, Rock Kim can't do United Center. Right. Yeah. Not by himself. Not by himself. You know what I'm saying? Which is, mm-hmm. which is kind of whack. Yeah. So, as I know we like to big up hip hop culture, but at the same time, so we also it's flawed, and we need to acknowledge the ones that are before us, or the artists do. They need to acknowledge the, the forefathers that, like, without them, without not like, dude, there would be no Nas if it wasn't for Rock Kim. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Nas would be rapping like back in the place with the face to face. Because Rock is still there. Would be like no, that. dude. You you idolize, and everyone you know clamors after Jay, but like. Jay looked at Rock Him and Big Daddy Kane. Like without them dudes, he would not be Jay Z. You could hear uh, Big Daddy Kane's wit all in Jay Z. Jay Z, yeah, yeah you know, sure. you could tell he came up under Big Daddy. Yeah, Kane. took him sure. up. He, he definitely stole that in the whole scheme. Yeah. And that's cool. He did his style, but he, and then he passed the torch. He passed the torch. And he, he, he reinvented the shit. No, 
So as hip hop as a community, whatever, like we need to do better in that regards where yeah. we acknowledge. But yeah, for the most part, yeah, Biz definitely I'm sidetracking, I'm getting off the point, but Biz definitely did get his uh flowers, so to speak. He was acknowledged, even in this later state. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the Beats commercial? Kanye? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sneak album coming out. Is it? Is it? God sounded gospel. -y. No, I don't think that it's song. Did. That, that song, song did, did, but I don't think it's gospel. And I don't know if it's, it's going to be. Uh, what's the last album? Jesus is King. Yeah, so I don't think it's going to be like. Yeah, that. I don't think it's going to be like. That. Might get a curse word or two on that. Yeah, yeah. Like he might be a little bit back to the old yeah. yeah. Not fully. I think he's still going to be rapping for Jesus, but right. I and think this will be a little bit better. And I. I and he hiding his face for a reason. I forgot the reason, but it's 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 a reason why he hiding his face. Has he put a track list out, or is he just yeah? He, shit? No, he, he put a track list out. It was on. Uh, he was in the studio with Tyler, and he revealed it. But I don't know if he took it down or if he's gonna. Have yeah, it. you never know if that's official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know if it's official. So. He's changed albums after it's come out. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's supposed to be dropping Friday, though. I didn't believe it, but... I think it's happening. Now with the commercial dropping, yeah, that, that's that's confirmed. Happening. No, yeah. Kanye is such an interesting... Dude, he... He's doing no promo. No promo. Yet, and still, he's got our attention. Right? Yep. Oh, well, that's a pretty major promo. We're having the Beast commercial doing it. Well, even without the commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it. been a buzz. Yeah, yeah right. a buzz before so that. He was at the Big Three tournament game Saturday. Oh, oh for real? Uh -huh. Yeah, he was at the game. So, yep. any yeah. features? Any, any any noticeable features? Or Push your tears on it. Uh, was Tyler on there? Did they say Tyler? I don't know if Tyler's on there. Push your tears definitely on there. I think. Uh, don't get me lying on on camera. I don't know. I just know I did see Push your tears. Mm -hmm. I would I would dare say I would dare say Cuddy probably. Be on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cool with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just or if you got a lot of money, they're going to be like, yo, man, you only bought one shirt? Damn, man. Nah. <laughs> that's just, that's, 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 uh, entitlement. Yeah, it is. That's entitlement. I don't it like is. that. I don't like people that get jealous. Like, I, yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm going to buy that shit. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> I got, yes, I'm fucking going to Walmart to buy my, 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 my tried and true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I bought, I bought one of your, uh, I don't know. For people to sell, I don't know. I bought yes, I bought your gym shoes that 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 you that that you custom made. Mm -hmm. I still want to go check Foot Locker out every once in a while, man. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get, I get, I get what y'all saying. I was just asking, like, I just wanted to get y'all thoughts. I mean, me personally, like, it's just whatever I want to give. Like, so if you come at me with something, then I'll do what I can. But I'm not going. If I don't feel like I need to go the extra mile, I don't want to go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm coming from. But I shouldn't feel guilty no. if I don't want to go up above and beyond. That's and your question, though. No, you shouldn't feel think, guilty. No, I shouldn't no. feel guilty at all. And I don't think the other person should make you feel guilty. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, so that's, that's not, that's not true right. friendship. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's that's not true. true. <laughs> That's your choice. <laughs> Joe, I feel like the old you would feel real sketchy Eddie with that word. Like, no, it's friend. real true. Oh, okay, That's okay. friends. Like, that's oh, a okay. friend. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? That's not a good friend if he's, you know what I'm saying? If he, if part of your, he requires part of your friendship for you to support every, and every little thing, yeah. each and every little thing that he goes into. Like. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, my question is answered. <laughs> Nah, that's a, that's, a, that's a good question because it's a uh, it's one of those unsaid things, like underlying things, like yeah, you know, that a nigga will feel away and yeah. you never know it, like yeah. you know, that a nigga, <laughs> like how we came late to your concert. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got a voice. <laughs> I mean, me and Z showed up late when you did you and uh, you know. All right, niggas, yeah. niggas showed up. Niggas was there early for Ghostface. <laughs> <laughs> and we was eating across the street. We was there, you know. Meanwhile, me and Spirit rapping our ass, rapping our ass off, sweating and shit. These niggas. And, little, little, and later on, I did feel a little like, dang. Ah, 
I should have been there. I should have like put those nachos down that gyro I was eating. I looked down the crowd and I see. I said, "Nah, you get the fuck out of here. You're going to look out in the yeah. crowd." <laughs> I just, I just, I just, hey, I, I saw a spot. Where it was an empty spot. <laughs> <laughs> I looked for Big Joe. I didn't see him. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Don't think about it. You were late. Like, Joe was late too. They wouldn't let me in with my camera. <laughs> I tried to I'm get good. in. <laughs> No, but, uh, no, nah, y'all answered that. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what you wearing today, though, son? Yo, man. Yo, I'm in the crib. <laughs> my flip-flops when I just ate a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Didn't you want to do, like, a sneaker joint or whatever, what people wearing? Yeah, man. Oh, okay, you got the flip-flop joint. Go ahead, bro. I mean, I, I really wanted it to be a, a thing, like, yo, like, in today's segment, you know what I'm saying, like, I was going to put a graphic up today. Like, <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these are nice shoes. Running shoes. Can they look comfortable? Yeah, they look comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, they are right. It's more of like a flat. Is that not a lot of support because they want you to have that, sock that natural feel like the shoe that, that looked like a sock mm, right, 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 kind right. of like that. So it ain't too much support. Because some people like that, that, that more natural feel. Mm -hmm. Can you drop a uh, 32? Nah, so you can't move it Your foot sliding out of these, no. Nah. Um, hard cut. Yeah, <laughs> nah. You don't want to play. This strictly for running, running a straight line. <laughs> Sprint, <laughs> right? Yeah, nah. You get on the court with these, you are gonna turn your ankle over. Well, they ain't a lot of support. <clears throat> oh, uh, Charles Barkley, uh, ninety. Charles Barkley. I think they Air Force, whatever. Barkley wore them in his ninety three season. Monster commercial, the, the monster. Yeah, was, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, when he was talking shit to Jordan, yeah. Oh, okay. he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your shoes, uh, you retired. He brought these out. So. Some Barclays just dropped. Uh, yeah. Last week. Sold out quick. Yeah, Barclays, if, if certain Barclays, they don't sell out quick. Now, yeah. So. so, I know, y'all seen Space Jam? The big, the box office box I saw, over the I weekend. Saw, I saw a part of it. But I see all of it. My son was watching it. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm three times in this bullshit. Man. Fuck. Still, I, I, I told Z girl, I, I, I tricked him, so he watched it three times. And I, and I, and I tricked him, and I put the O and the, the Michael Draw one in. And he was like, cool, because the cartoons came in sooner than the, the new one. Right. But within minutes, he was like, I want to watch the other Space Jam. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like nah, if this isn't indicative of a generation gap, like, the hell said he wants to see LeBron. And, you know what I'm Even though both of those, in retrospect, that I looked at both of them, they forced me. Those, those both of those movies are pretty trash. Man. Like they're not yeah. for you though. They're for we, kids. We, we oh, bump up Space Jam because of Mike. Yeah, and, is and, the, and the Jordan Elevens. <laughs> yeah, that was the first time we saw the Elevens. Like, no, actually, you yes. saw the Elevens in uh, the Orlando Magic series. That was before that. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. Space Jam. So when when Jordan on. did when uh. When Nick Anderson tripped him up, he so, had on the. No, I'm talking about the ones from Space Jam. That's what I'm, oh, the black ones. The, the black, no, Jordan had the white ones on. I'm oh, the, the Space Jam he had on the black ones. The with black the blue, yeah, that was with the, the blue man. jump man on there. But you saw that he had it was different colorway. But yeah, 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 different colorway. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. The, but the first yeah, time yeah, that oh, I saw, he got some black ones. Dude, the first time I saw Jordan in those Elevens was uh the the uh, ninety five. Playoff game against Orlando. Oh, yeah, yeah. When Nick Anderson tripped him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw those. I was like, damn. Futuristic. Mm. This, this shoe, this this shoe, this Space Jam 2 has LeBron. People hate on LeBron. Yeah, I don't hate The it. shoe that's attached with this movie is, I don't think it's that great. Mm. Too much. This yeah, it's dominated the blockbuster. It dominated the uh, turnstile. You watched the whole thing, right? Yes. Does the ending leave an opening for Space Jam Three? <laughs> uh, no, there's no, there's no uh, what you call it, like at the end of the first one. It's different unless there's a, something after credit scene. No, oh, it kind of okay. ends with closure. You saw it? No, I didn't see it. Are right, you gonna check it out? This, that's a yes. Probably if you not. don't have to, what you do you're not missing. No, out. That's damn, I, I got girls. Not. I don't think they're gonna be. Oh, I want to watch Space Jam. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be dying to see it, so probably not. Maybe I'll catch you and come on TV. 
I'm not finna go through my fire stick and look for a lead. <laughs> right, 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 right. Horrible segue. I do do got a question. Like with my birthday coming up, and I think I ran this across. I definitely pose this to both of y'all. Like I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. But I've been talking about that. I've been talking about three, three four years. years like, yeah, but like <laughs> yeah, I really, I think I want one. I don't know if this is like boredom, because like, I have no tattoos currently. But I think I want one. Now. But if I want one, like one, it has to be impulsive. Like I can't just think it out. I can't like y'all want this. Like, like me. Like I can't make an appointment. It has to be like y'all. I'm going today. Let's go get one. What you mean you can't make an appointment? You saying that's. Because of who you are, that type I'm of person. Saying, I'm talking about the tattoo part of it. Like, if if I have to make an appointment, or I, like, if I have to like, because you want to go in there and talk to the guy. Yeah, yeah, I want him to draw it up. Like, yeah. I, I do want that aspect, but like, it ha- it can't be like I'm gonna go to that. Like, it can't be like, man, you know what? Next week I'm gonna go up there. I'll fucking change your mind. Off. Yeah, right, right. Oh, that's okay. what I'm saying. Right. So like. So if you out and about kicking it, like we go, go ahead, yeah, let's get a tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, so, I might uh, be do down. It. Like I might be down. Oh, you'll do it. Right. Yeah, like yeah. a spur of a moment. Like if you, oh, if we God. out and about, you like yo. Like if Joe says yo, I was thinking about, I'm going to get a tag right now. I might actually go, go through it. Oh, okay. like but if I gotta think it out, yeah. If, if you gotta wait, then if I gotta wait, through. like you know, in two weeks I'm gonna go up there. And we gonna, try, you know, <laughs> draw it out. I probably won't. So I think that's been the whole thing about tats with me. Like, I don't really like. It's not like it's not in the forefront. But if you, if one of y'all came to me and said like, yeah, it's a, it's a lot to think about. Yeah, like uh, I got, I got mine was the one I got. It was pretty spur of the moment. I think about it. It's like Pip. It's a uh-huh. P-I-P, like Pippin. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying when I got my, it was a bunch of my friends. Yo, let's go to the tattoo shop, mm-hmm. and I end up getting one. You but know? I ain't, I ain't got one since because I'm, like, I'm trying to think it out like. Yo, what do I want? Yeah, I don't know what I want. Too, uh, yeah, my joke boy, in Channel Seven, what do I want? I don't want to get a bunch of biblical stuff. Nah, I, just, I don't want to get the praying hands. Nah, I don't want them getting them the cliche. I yeah. mean, I want like something dope that covers. You want something original? Yeah, but like I, I'm not, I'm not. You got to figure out who gonna do it. You want it to look yeah, nice? Like, it's yeah. gonna be on your arm forever, man. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go through all that, like. Like you, if Joe said, "Yo, I really recommend this dude. Like my tattoo artist is dope. Like Rick, this is dude code." Then and it, and he happens to say, "Yo, next week I'm going." I probably would go with um, you. Like I bet I, I'll go and sit with you, and then he can and gotta figure out how much you want to spend. Your yeah, limit. man. Like, like, that's another some shit ain't just one visit. I'm not spending, right, that too. You might have to come back. I'm not spending two grand. On this that's a lot. That's a lot to think yeah. about. Yeah, uh, but there's some people well, that go. Yeah, drop but that, a dime. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's the shit. Though. That's the reason I don't even have a tat. Like I didn't really think of it. I was just like too. I was doing. You know, you always doing too much. And uh-huh. I never really thought it was never in the forefront to like go and do. It, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if the cats that got like the and one on their calf, the <laughs> and one and on their calf, if they if they regret it now, like probably not, because you can cover it up. Like, what if they don't even hoop no more? Yeah, that's cool. That was just a back short thing. And the hand one the guy is fat now. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? He stretched, <laughs> stretched out. They seem like you would get some, like, like it's two type, type of tasks you would get. Like, you get some fly shit. I don't have to be symbolic. You know what I'm saying? And you get some, like, a, I was seeing, I'm sure you, we've all seen, I've seen some raw ass dragons or, like, I seen one chick, she had, like, a, uh, it looked like a lion was, like, tearing out of her skin. Mm-hmm. Like, it was 3D type tat. Yeah. And it was just some fly raw shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It didn't have good art meaning. Work. It was good yeah, art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or you could have something that's symbolic. A guy is, you know what I'm saying? No, we don't want anybody to pass. No. A guy ain't going to get his kids, you know what I'm saying, unless there's a death or something like that. Yeah, I'm more of the first guy. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, it seemed like that's it. You get some fly shit, you know what I'm saying? I get my kids' names. Yeah. I mean... Stylized or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, okay, yeah. right, right. But, it's not just... I would, I would probably if I did go get another I would probably get a sleeve and be done that's my thing yeah, that's I mean, my it, it gotta be a a real yeah like the one tap thing and I'm done with yeah, it. Yeah. I mean even though a sleeve is gonna take you a month right yeah you know true. what I'm saying but still I think I would wanna get a sleeve because I, the one I got now I would get that covered <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely getting this one. 
Shout out to Spirit, man. Thanks. Spirit did your tattoo? No, we on oh. on Wim when he got he got some old fly shit that symbolic with an eye and all this shit. And you know what I'm saying? Was this like, in an actual shop or somebody's house? Shop, yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't think of nothing to get, but I had to get something because everybody was getting one. I was like, oh, give me that J. What's, <laughs> what's, what's, what's your first tattoo experience? Like, which one is your first? Oh, like, first tattoo I got my mom's, like, and, and it, this was in the back of a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> they made the fucking G a little. They made a little G. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> it's a little fucking G. Oh, it is a little G. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then the second one was like, like the guys, we all got LJDN in some form of fashion, with different shit. Like I got the the hands, like somebody got praying hands, somebody else got. Uh, <laughs> everybody got something different, but that you know what I'm saying. But, which, by the way, where, do you know, do you know where you were, do you know where you were at? Oh, I'm sorry, to finish. No, no, no. Do you know like what day it was, or like what your mindset? Like, oh man, it was fall of you know blah blah blah. Hmm. I was just yeah, random as fuck. Yeah, just, let's do it. But see that—that's why I missed out on that. Obviously, like as a as a young man, like now I just be like, yeah. if one of y'all was like, "Yo, I'm about to go tomorrow," yeah, I probably would go. But if y'all not doing that, when I went, when I went and got mine, I was still living at the crib. So I'm like, let me get some shit that's that's biblical. So if my parents see it, they won't, <laughs> they won't be too mad. <laughs> wow. What you got? A scripturism? I got Lord knows. Have mercy. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a nice blend of music. Uh, you know, if they ask. When they see it, like, hey, uh, at, least, at least it's biblical. Right. <laughs> yeah, they ain't cool. even care. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> now, what, 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 where would you get your, like, is there, <laughs> is there spots that's off limits? Would you get a leg? I mean, the, the first spot probably be like up here. I like or, to say arm, I didn't, arm, chest, back. Yeah, like spots. I didn't put too much. I didn't put too much thought in. Like too, you know, I mean, it's not a two K creator character. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I ain't thinking that much into it. But like, if I was, I'd be like, all right, yeah, right, 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 go ahead. I don't think I'd be the guy like to get tattoos all on my arms, all on my leg. I wouldn't. Do nah, that. that ain't me. No, nah. that's to me. That's kind of an addiction type thing. Like. Yeah. Like, you don't have to be, a, like, that's your thing. Like, some people, they're yeah, like, some people that's like, like, your shoes, like, you just, you, you get the vibe to get some new shoes. Like, mm-hmm. I know cats is like, 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 they just, man, I'm, not, I'm about to go finish this tattoo. Yeah, yeah, they want to fill up their body. That's their thing, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not my thing. All right, all right. That's why, like, it's been so long. I mean, I ain't got, like, it's never been. But your first spot to go to a, Probably the shoulder. Sure, why not? Same spot. Sleeve or? Yeah, like a half a sleeve. So half sleeve. Some yeah. going up, like, not to the neck, but close to the neck. But that's okay. It. And then I'll probably be done. Like, that'd be it. Like, I'm not looking to put it on this arm or leg. I, I'll you never know. That might start nah, the addiction. Nah, I'll probably do it. Honestly. Well, if you really like it, you wouldn't go back and get no, something else? Nah, that's the end of it. I'll be done. Like, <laughs> Well, you said that. You say that now. You don't have one. Because, nah, because like you know what I'm saying. Like you said, the shit costs money. You know what I'm saying. I got other vices. If you could, yo come back, I'll give you a deal. Nah, the next ta- one, uh, huh? tattoos is not a vice. I think with sneakers and other shit. So, it's like something you wouldn't mind doing. But yeah, if it, it, it happens, if it happens, it happens. That's no. It's no age limit on. It's not like. Uh, I wouldn't say it's, it's not like getting a bike, a motorcycle or something. Like, when well, you're fucking 60, you just not getting a bike. <laughs> it's different. You can it's still get okay. a tattoo. Huh? That's not okay. To Maybe that's not a good example. It's not like... Oh, yeah, uh, well, probably not a good. crotch rocket at 60. Right, you don't get a crotch rocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Guys do that. There's no, you know, there's no age limit in the group. All right. I just had two things on my brain that I want to run past y'all. Shit, you ain't got nothing. You got anything else? No, I, I emptied the chamber. <laughs> we, we got some coming though. Mm. Sneak, oh, yeah. sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> might, might, might be taking the show. Mm. Bro, yeah, 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 definitely. Summer league is coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Hey, yo, 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 yo! Don't even tell them yet. Don't even tell them yet, son. <laughs> <laughs> we can't speak on that yet. All right. We might not do it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It might, it might, we might not do it. 
If, if next episode we still here, we didn't do it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> if, don't forget to fuck with us on all the audio platform platforms, uh, Spotify, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcasts. Uh, fuck with us there, but right now you YouTube, where it all started. Um, as usual, you got the usual crew. You got my man Zeke. Got the one and only Ricky Shway. And I'm Channel 7. Peace. That's right. I gotta take them off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Just like we come through, better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.